it's been about half hours past since I last spoke to you. We've gone backstage, we're sure we've got our wristbands and our laminates and all that stuff. And we're right now at the back of the stage. We're not at the back of the stage, we're actually at the back of the arena that this Arcadia thing is. There's a, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on, it's looking kind of crazy still. It's like, how long have we got? We've got 20 minutes until we go on and the butterflies are definitely increasing. It's like, I've not done anything that looks remotely like this in my whole fucking life. But, um, oh man, <laughs> this is bonkers. Anyway, we're gonna talk to a few more people and we're gonna get some vibes on what people have seen, what they're looking forward to, how they're gonna spend the rest of the night, blah, blah, blah. Let's do this. My name's Rafaela. Hello, Rafaela. Change my name to suit the outfit. So, can you make up a new name for me? Not on the spot. We'll have to come back to that one. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not asking you to improvise. I'm just asking you to tell me about your experiences. Okay, my experiences are um, very, very amazing here at Arcadia, at Glastonbury, for the, for the reunion, for the 40th. The reunion? Yeah, let's call it a reunion, because I was here two years ago, and I, I think I'll keep coming back, so. How long have you spent here this time around? Uh, we arrived on Thursday morning and we, we did a little bit different style this time because we're in the camper van with, uh, with friends that got a kid. But, um, Apparently that's not really the real Glastonbury way to do it though. But do you know what? Like we have rocked out. Don't you worry. Okay. Yeah, keep going. No, no, I was just going to say how much sleep have you had in these four days? Okay, so um, <laughs> this morning I came home at 8.30 and I pulled my blow-up mattress out of the tent because it's going to be too hot. I put it in the shade of the camper van thing and slept outside for quite a few hours. Today was actually, okay, last time I slept four hours in four days. This time I've probably slept, this time I've, I've probably actually gone a bit downhill because I've slept more than four hours. So, but I need to rock out a bit more. Uphill, had to walk up a hill to get home. Yeah. But uh, but I definitely think that my highlight has been, have to say my highlight's definitely been smooth. Because it was hilarious and it was so fun. I didn't actually even want to hear that because I was really, really gutted that I missed it myself to be honest. I'm just like Do you okay, if, if he asked you, if he asked you like, okay ladies, no, if he asked me, Okay, okay, guys out there, guys out there, is it okay if I have a word with the ladies? Would you have been okay with that, to let him continue? Snoop can do whatever he wants. Whatever he wants is fine by me. And he did do whatever he wanted to. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> oh, you got some lyrics. Can you do it? Can you do a little? Not in, n not in any way that would do it justice, to be fair. The whole way this thing started was like teamwork, right? One escape, now he's trying to escape. I'm still right here with you, but like Im imitation of Snoop is like, that's not really what. My new name actually is Twist, twist Your, Twist Your, twist, twist Your Rhyme Sister. That's my new name. Did you see what she did there? That's, it's, it's, yeah, so, so now I'm the Twist Your Rhyme Sister. All right. Are you gonna be my rhyme mister? I can be that, I can be that. Take a little a bit of time to get into character, but yeah, I can, I can be that. Okay, I can be that. Let's All right. I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. I'm twisting. I'm twisting. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. And one, and two, and one, two, three, four. Here we are at Arcadia. Here we are at Arcadia. Now, can you say yeah? Animals. We are here with the crazy ones. We here with the crazy ones, and we're about to have some fun. Yeah. We are part of the team, don't you hear? We want to scream yeah. and want everybody to come near. Yeah. Because we are part of the team, don't you fear? Come near, don't you fear? Come near, don't you fear? Yeah. Come near. Yeah. Come, come on, come. You're in. You're in. Come on. You're in. Yeah. All right, we got. Her. The escape fee has returned. Your name, please. Rachel. Rachel's here with us, and we're on a vibe right now. We, we got lyrics, we got beats, we got all kinds of vibes happening. It's Glastonbury 2010, Stamina TV, and we're doing this thing. Rachel, tell us about your Glastonbury experiences. My Glastonbury experience has been amazing. It's my second time, and it's better than the first time. You know your way around a bit more. The amazing sunshine. I've been asking my guardian angel for months for this, and you know I'm not going to complain at all about. 
Your highlights? The sunshine. Valid point. I, I shouldn't even have asked, actually. Do you have any low points? Low points. But actually, I played frisbee actually on um, uh, Dragon Dragon Screen this morning. It was brilliant. Frisbee? You mean they still make those things? Yeah, that's like a frisbee federation. Oh my god! They still make frisbees. That is quite awesome, actually. All right. Well, um. Well, that was yeah. That was not a frisbee. Okay. We're going to wind up right now. We're going to grab a few more people, but thanks for your time. Rachel, Rafaela, thanks for your time. Enjoy the rest of your festival. Just because the Twist Your Rhyme sister wants to go out with something. We are here for Sean and Liz's wedding. It is a free celebration for the wedding. Yeah. And that's a wrap. What's your name, please, man? My name's Adam. Hello, Adam. How's it going? Yeah, it's Adam. Yeah, fucking brilliant. It's been a brilliant, brilliant festival, yeah. How long have you been here, man? Uh, since Tuesday. Since Tuesday. Stay here. Since Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, son. Yeah, it's been, it, honestly off the wall, mate. Honestly off the wall, absolutely off the hook. Are you a regular Glastower? No, I live two miles down the road, so I come here every year and I love it. It's been, Are you one of the guys that actually get given the tickets because you're so close to uh, that? No, I'm not that lucky, but I, uh, I, I find work and I, you know, I know, like, I, I get in most years just through, you know. Uh, work and bits and pieces like that. And so is this year like social for you or you got some kind of duty that you perform here? Well, this year I've been doing, I've been doing stage in here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, but uh, both, some years I pay, it just depends, you know, how how it goes, you know, how I can find the way to get in, like. Okay. All these people with you, all, all locals as well, yeah? Yeah, these are all locals, all these people. Uh, it's my girlfriend there, it's Emily, and uh, loads of local people there, but yeah, yeah. Highlights for you this year? It's the best ever. Just saw CB Wonder a minute ago. It was mind blown. Mind blown. I've never seen. I've never seen anything like it. I'll never forget it. Like, man, everyone's talking about Stevie. I'm actually getting burnt because we didn't get here in time oh, to see it. We it good, honestly, it was a bit. It was a bit tear jerky. You know what I mean? It's like what? <laughs> well, you with your big beard itself all got emotional. Really? Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was pretty good. Such is the power of Stevie Wonder, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> exactly right, exactly right. So, for the rest of the, um, the night, are you actually going to be here? Is there somewhere else you're going to go? Stay here as long as I can. Might run up to the Stone Circle, watch the sun come up, see what happens. See what happens. In fact, yeah, you can actually give us the tips, actually. See, actually, when this shuts down, is there anything else going to be still going, or do you reckon it all winds down about that same sort of time? I think there's little bits and pieces going on, but... No, in, no insider tips, as you're a local. Uh, not, yeah, well... What are you not allowed to say? Well, there's a party in Michael Eavis's garage. He's having a few people on Michael Eavis's garage. <laughs> Obviously not, I don't know. It's quite hard to... <laughs> we might, we'll have to check it out. If they let us in, like, we'll have a little look. <laughs> exactly right, mate, yeah. Okay, then, dude. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, and thanks for talking to us, man. Thank you. Cheers. Doing nice. And you are? Emily. Hello, Emily. How are you doing? <laughs> Good vibes in the place. It's absolutely brilliant. Everyone's just having a wicked time. It's so chilled out. I love it. I don't want to go in yet. I'm gutted. Highlights for you so far. What have you seen that you've been really into? Uh, Muse was brilliant. Kissy Sellout played here the other night. He was absolutely wicked as well. Uh, Sub Focus at the Globe. That was immense as well. It was really good. So you know a little bit about your drum and bass, yeah? Oh, I love it. Definitely. What's brought you to Arcadia then? What are you here for? It's just so visual, like, it's just something else to, like, look at. You'll never, ever find this anywhere else. It's just amazing. Would you say you've spent more time here than any other place thus far, or...? We've been here every night, absolutely every night. It's... Gotta respect it. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, um, you're gonna be here for the rest of the night, then, are you? Yeah, definitely, until they throw me out. Sounds good to me. Enjoy the rest of your night, then. Thank you very much, and you. Wow. Um... Show's over, just come off stage, we're in a tent behind the main um, structure. I still don't even know what to call that, even though I've been standing on there um, shouting at people for the last hour or so. But yeah, mind blown, blown. I mean, this people who are watching this footage now, 
I hope you can get a taste of what it was that was really going on out there, but there is no substitute for actually being part of it and whatnot. This is this is memorable, this is gonna stick with me, this is this is bonkers. Anyhow, I managed to pin down some of the people who are part of this, who've made this into what it was. And the first person that I have here, your name is please? Hobbit. Hobbit. Hello, Hobbit. Thank you for taking the time to speak to me. My pleasure. And can you tell the people at home what it, your role is in all of this? Uh, I'm a fire performer and a dancer and I do some aerial as well. Awesome. So um, you've been here the entire time, yes? I've been here the entire time. I've been working with Arcadia for about three years. How does, how does someone come to be in this line of work? How does it happen? Uh, you, you want it. You want it a lot. Uh, you, you train a lot. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of work that's gone into this. Uh, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears, um, but yeah, it's uh, lo yeah, lots of training basically, lots of training, knowing the right people as well, knowing Pip and Bert. They came up to us at uh, Best uh, Beautiful Days three years ago and just asked us if we were five performers. And uh, and um, yes, yes, we're five performers. They'd seen us doing. How did you know? <laughs> They'd seen us do a bit of random spinning. Um, and then we got a call a week later asking if we'd go to Electric Picnic and uh, and spin with them. Uh, three days later, and so they rushed us over there. And uh, we turned up at two o'clock in the morning, and, and there were just a few fire sculptures and a, and a, and a fire pit at that time. Uh, and then they asked us back the next year, and it, it grown again. And then the year after, it grown again. This year, it's a beast. A beast, it definitely <laughs> is. I mean, in regards to your performance and what you do, I mean, how much of it is, can I even say choreographed, and how much of it is improv? Like, in a percentage wise, what's the ratio? It started off as being completely improvised, completely to the music. The idea was that we were all performers that could move to music um, and improvise properly. Um, and as the show grows, it becomes more of a choreographed thing. The people grow, um, uh, there's, there's more people that do it. Uh, so it has to be choreographed. And the whole show is choreographed, the whole after show is loosely choreographed. Um, but a lot of it is still very much improvised. And how many people are there in your in your team? In the team, the whole Arcadia team. Because well, <laughs> we are a whole team, totally. I guess more the people that do what you do specifically. Uh, there are 11 performers, um, a choreographer, about four stage managers. Um, there's a group of about 20 of us uh, that sort of put, put the immediate show together, uh, including Pip and Bert. Um, and the Freefall Collective. Um, yeah, there's, there's about 20, 25 of us. And finally, what will you do with the rest of today? Um, I'm going to go and party with all the wonderful people that have made this happen and that allow me to be on that stage. And with that, I bid you thank you for speaking to me tonight. Thank you. Thank you.